So we have a new model in town known as the Open Coder, the Open Cookbook for top tier code large language models. Now there are so many different coder models that you can imagine, but this seems to be the best till date. This is Open Coder 8 billion parameter and you can see that they have come up with refined code which is a high quality reproducible data set of 960 billion tokens across 607 programming languages incorporating over 130 language specific rules with customized weight assignment and we are going to test it out and run different examples and test it out on olama so you can see the statistics of this large language model. We see that open coder 8 billion stands even better than Quen 2.5 coder 7 billion, which was the best open source coder model till date. But now we have open coder 8 billion model. So let's go ahead and test this out. Now, if you head over to olama.com, we have option to download this model. So in Olama, you need to go and first install Olama. If you're working on Olama, that's great. If not, you can start working. You can download for Windows, you can download for Linux, and you can download for Mac OS. I'm gonna show you in a cloud GPU service from Novita AI. So if we go to Novita AI, I have a link. You can go through a link and sign up but they have some of the cheapest GPUs instances so I can go to deploy GPU instance here and once I select my template here you can go and deploy any of the models here so I have an A100 already running so this is the instance and what I can do is that I can go and connect to that instance using the Jupyter Lab here this will open up the Jupyter Lab uh, which would look something like this and now I am ready to install uh, the large language model here. So in this uh, video, I'm going to be demonstrating you how to install Olama using Linux. So for that, you need to go to Olama. So go to Linux and you need to copy this code, which is a curl command. Now, when you start this instance for the first time, what you need to do is that you need to go ahead and say app get update and after that you need to say app get install curl so once you install this curl then you are able to go ahead and copy this and install olama now i have already run through the steps and therefore this is already installed in my system but it's again downloading olama and it's setting up uh, olama now what I need to do is I need to go and open up a new terminal and I need to launch Olama. So I need to say Olama serve. So when I do Olama serve, it says it's already bind to this address, which means it has already started. Now we want to test out this model open coder. So for that, I can go to this models olama.com and go to the newest models here. We have the newest models okay open coder so click on open coder now it has two models uh two sizes basically 1.5 billion and 8 billion i'm going to show you the 8 billion model so what i can do is that i can go to this 8 billion and i can just copy this olama run open coder so once i do the olama run open coder it is able to download uh, the model files and get the models ready for your use now I can see the list of models that I have installed. So Olama list. So you can see that I have this model that is being installed in my system. Now I can go and run this. So Olama run and put in the name of the model here. So this will start up the instance of Olama. And you can see that this is just reinstalling the system, but you need to do the step first. You need to install Olama here. And then you can go and do Olama serve. So once this is served, you can go ahead and uh, do Olama list and see the list of models that are available. And then you can go and run Olama run this. So this will download the model if you don't have the model and it will get set you get started. So I'm going to open up a new 
uh, Python notebook as well for running the commands here. So let's get started with the questions here. So first question is, can you provide me a code snippet to reverse a string in Python? You can see the speed of inference. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to copy this part of the code and go to my terminal here. I'll go to a Python notebook here and then I just run this. So that's pretty good. It's a success. Next, we go and see write a function to check if a given number is prime in Python. So I go here, select send a message here, send this message and I ask it to write a function. Now I can uh, copy this so I can say this is the uh, definition of a function here. And then what I can do is I can use this function here. So print and use this function. So I'm going to run this and then I'm going to run this. So expectation is true and false. Uh, 11 is true and uh, 15 is false. 15 is not prime. Next, show an implementation of Fibonacci sequence using recursion in Python. So I go here, put up the prompt here and ask for it to generate. You can see the inference speed is pretty fast. So I can go and copy this code and put it here, run this. And you can see we have 55. That's pretty good. Can you write a program to find the factorial of a number? So factorial again, that should be easy for a pretty good model. So just copy this and ask for the factorial of 5 and you can see it's 120. That's a pass. Now you can see write a simple Python class to demonstrate inheritance and method overriding. So we can ask this prompt here, get this and copy the code here and run it on my notebook. So you can see that the class is inherited here. So barks wolf. Next, create a simple hash table implementation in Python. We go here, copy the prompt and ask it to generate here. Now I'm going to copy this output file here and I can go here, copy this and paste it here and run this. And we get John Doe. That's pretty good. Next, can you write a Python program for solving the knapsack problem using dynamic programming? So I go to my code here, put in the prompt here, ask it to generate a Python function. It's generating. Let's test this out. Copy this part of the code here and run this on the notebook here and we see the answer is pretty good. Implement the quick sort algorithm in Python. Just go here and just run it here, paste in here. And then we are going to take this part of the code here and paste it in a notebook and ask. So we have this array and this sorted array is this. So you can see this model is pretty fast. It's pretty easy to use using Olama. But if you don't want to use Olama, there are other options as well, which we will see in just a second. Now you can go to GitHub, Paper, Hugging Face and all these resources. Uh, let's go to the paper. Let's go to this uh, part of the Hugging Face here. Let's go to this 8 billion instruct file. And what you can do is that we have uh, all the benchmarks here. We have this inference code. So what I can do is that I can copy this part of the code and I can just uh, paste it somewhere. Let's say, uh, let's say I paste it here and then run the code. So that will do the same thing. You can use Torch library, but you do need to install a few things. Uh, you do need to install transformers. You need to install a sentence piece and you do need to install Torch as well. Then you will have this result, but it's, it's, it's slower. Um, I think Olama is pretty faster and I feel that it's easy for us to integrate in our applications. So there you are. We have open coder, which performs better than Quen. And I'm really excited uh, to test this out and integrate into my pipelines of work. And I urge you to go and sign up for Novita.ai because they are providing very cheap GPUs. And uh, that's all. I will see you next time with more examples and more interesting use cases of different LLMs. In this channel, we go and explore every AI related LLM related topics that is possible. 
and I urge you to join my Patreon where we go through different codes and different examples of different technologies that we have. Subscribe to my channel and uh, I promise to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.